Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video and there is some breaking news. So, uh, you know, I was just here, out here, minding my own business. Uh, I was like, what should I record today? SS4 Gogeta showcase, uh, Physical Omega showcase, I really didn't know. But uh, I was just scrolling on Twitter and I seriously drops these two very, I think very cryptic gifts. But uh, it's very obvious. This is the Gallic Gun Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga. And then this is Goku uh, Kamehameha from the Saiyan Saga. Right, the Kaioken times four Kamehameha Goku. So... It, it seems to me that uh, we're going to get a Saiyan Saga themed part 2 LR banner for the 7th year anniversary, which is uh, quite hype because uh, a lot of people actually wanted a Saiyan Saga themed celebration for an anniversary or for a worldwide celebration. I myself was uh, more along the thinking that they would save the Saiyan Saga for this year's worldwide celebration just because there has been an obvious pattern over the past three years. If you take a look at last year. We got uh, LR Namek Goku as well as LR Full Power Freezer. The year before that, we had got STR Vegito and Physical Boo Tanks. And then the year before that, it was Gohan and Cell. So I thought there's only really one uh, main arc left to cover from Dragon Ball Z. And I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to drop uh, a Saiyan Saga theme celebration because they could also build up towards it. But uh, I suppose it's not that big of an issue that we're getting them now. Uh, as for who... As for how reputable or credible I seriously is, uh, I know some people may not know who he is, but he is a Dokkan battle, uh, I suppose, data miner or leaker, uh, you know, alongside uh, Kawaii uh, and Team Dokkan. Uh, those three used to leak stuff all the time back in the day. Uh, they have, of course, uh, reduced the amount of leaking that they do just because uh, they want the game, uh, the do I said the game, but they want Akatsuki or Dokkan themselves to... Uh, reveal these units firsthand to, more, to generate more hype. So uh, I am uh, very, very sure, very comfortable in saying that these guys are very, very credible, especially I seriously. I believe he just teased Tech Super Saiyan 2 Keflers uh, as being the next Dokkan Festival Global. And then I believe he also teased uh, the Androids coming next as well. So this guy knows what he's talking about. So don't be worried about that. Now, uh, in terms of what this means for the potential part three EZAs as well as the part two LRs themselves. I suppose we can do a bit of speculation here. So we have Goku. Um, I presume because we just received this free-to-play LR Goku, who's very, very good, by the way, uh, it will be a Goku Kaioken. Uh, we don't really have a, a really, really good times four Kaioken Goku uh, from the Saiyan Saga. Right? I mean, this is from the Namek Saga, who's pretty solid. I think he's a defensive stacker as well as a greatly raising attack. So he's pretty good for Lawrence. Um, he's solid as well. Uh, he gets a lot more powerful against Vegeta family category allies as well as being a defensive and offensive stacker himself. Uh, this guy's aged. He's a free to play easy A. And then we have this guy who's aged as well. And this guy's aged as well. So there is quite a big hole for a Saiyan Saga Kaioken times four Kamehameha Goku. And I think if we take a look at Vegeta as well, uh, again, very similarly, we do have a Gallic gun Vegeta, but apart from this easy A who's only uh, good in long events, uh, we don't have another Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga, or at least a relevant one. Right? We do have this guy who's the exchanged version of uh, this LR right here, Nappa and Vegeta. But uh, again, he's not a Vegeta standalone unit. I think the area that Dokkan will probably cover is Vegeta Giant Ape. Just because we don't have a Giant Ape Vegeta, anything other than this guy who received an EZA a few months back on Global... Uh, still, actually, JP are yet to receive the easy as for this Vegeta Giant Ape, uh, the Goku Physical Giant Ape, the Kid Goku, and then the STR Raditz, who's also a Giant Ape uh, unit. So I'm surprised as to where those easy as are going to fit in. I mean, it's quite possible, right? Uh, with them dropping maybe a LR Kaioken times four uh, Saiyan Saga Goku with this Giant Ape Vegeta for part two as your part two LRs, maybe the Dokkan Fest directly preceding this. I said preceding, but. The Dokkan Fest, which is going to be released directly after this anniversary, may even be Saiyan Saga themed. And that's where they could maybe throw in those three easy years. So that would not surprise me at all. Uh, but I, you know, I would personally like for them, for them to go for a Vegeta Giant. But I suppose it's also quite possible um, that they just make him a standalone Gallic Gun. Maybe they make him... I was going to say, maybe they may make him... No, cause it's not like Gallic Gun is a parenthesis in the name. So I suppose it, it could be Vegeta who transforms into... Uh, the Giant Ape Vegeta, very similar to LR Super Baby 2, uh, the AGL LR who dropped during the 4th anniversary. But again, a lot of this is <laughs> speculation at this point. In terms of potential easy A's, I've, I've picked up a few units here, but um, if we talk about these two here, the Intel LR Piccolo and then the AGL LR TN and Shatsu, both these units are from the Saiyan Saga. 
Uh, but the only problem is that they're both wall tournament units, and I don't really know how they're going to handle free-to-play easy A's obtainable from the wall tournament, right? We have seen the Prime Battle free-to-play LR's easy A. We've seen Story Event LR, LR's easy A, such as Physical Master Roshi. I think the tech Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, who was introduced or who were introduced um, in part one for this year's anniversary, will probably get an easy A in part three as well. But we don't know how they're going to go about with these easy A's, right? Because a lot of a lot of uh, people probably don't even have Piccolo Rainbow. But I don't have Piccolo Rainbow on JP. I have a Rainbow on Global uh, just because I was fortunate enough to start playing Global at the time of him being the local reward LR. But I, again, I, I think I have him like one dupe or two dupes. So there's a whole process that I have to. I suppose they have to figure out in terms of how do they distribute Piccolo and Tien and Chaozi for those players who don't have them. How do they go about in terms of uh, releasing their Easy A medals? It's just something that we, it's unheard of and it's, we don't really know for sure. It's unprecedented in that regard. I think actually the other thing I just noticed is that we don't even have a Saiyan Saga category leader, right? Yeah, like there is no Saiyan Saga category leader. So in terms of leader skills, I wonder if uh, the Goku Kaioken or the Vegeta Kaioken, I say Vegeta Kaioken, but the Great Ape Vegeta potential. Uh, part 2 LRs, if any of those guys will have the Saiyan Saga as their leader skill, I mean, I personally would like it if they were. Um, you know, eventually they're going to drop a Dokkan Fest TUR as a Saiyan Saga leader, but more options is always a good thing. Um, so there's a question mark over these two. Uh, it's actually a shame because I, I think I really like this Piccolo in terms of the moment that he's based off. This is actually a really impactful moment in the series very early on in the Saiyan Saga. The card art looks pretty sick as well. Uh, but yeah, he just flat out sucks, and I suppose Tien and Chaozi as well. It's a really cool moment between these two. If you watch OG Dragon Ball, uh, you would know that, that the relationship is quite strong. But again, I'm digressing here at this point. I think because of the Part 2 LR banner now being focused around the Saiyan Saga, or seemingly being focused around the Saiyan Saga, I think we could possibly look away um, from the third year fusions or the fourth year anniversary LRs. Um, when I mean third year fusions, I mean the third year anniversary LRs, getting easy A's. I've seen a lot of people speculate about those two. I've seen a lot of people also speculate about L AGL uh, Gogeta Blue or Physical DBS Broly. But again, guys, it's very important to point out that this themed celebration is Goku and Vegeta, which is presumably why they're dropping a Saiyan Saga Goku and Vegeta as the part two LRs. But uh, Nappa and Vegeta is my pick, I think, for a summonable LR easy A. They did drop in 2020 uh, for JP, so they're only like... Uh, it's what almost coming up. We're coming up on two years since their easy. Uh, sorry, since their release, but they are absolutely like mid. I, I don't mean to. <laughs> I don't mean to throw offense to this unit. You know, leader skill, inhuman deeds is a very niche category, and there were some really powerful buffs this year, right? LR full power freezer, the Goku Vegeta, LR Broly's easy A. Um, the Golden Freezer is a very good defensively. Your easy is pretty good. Int Broly, uh, this third form freezer, STR, Bojack. Uh, this guy's easier. So the list goes on and on and on but it's not like it's and it's not this is not an endless category like pure saiyans it's very niche uh, and to top it all off they are the only leader of the team and they're four key and 130 percent all stats which just sucks as a leader skill uh, especially since this anniversary has introduced the power creep of the 200 percent leader skills uh, now this guy does have value he is a um aoe type unit so there is subarrowed um value there he's also very self-sufficient gives himself five key albeit it is based upon a bit of a weird restriction because I feel like a lot of the time in Super Battle Road uh, you're going to be under that HP threshold but it's fine um, and then he also has the, the turn 3 um, Ghost Dusher right he does debuff or sorry they do debuff their own attack but he gets the guaranteed dodging for one turn on turn 3 which again this is a really nice condition for an active skill but this unit is not anything special at all uh, do they not prepare for battle? wow okay I didn't, I didn't even know that. I thought they would have had Prepare for Battle, but no, they're not. I suppose that's why they gave him the 5 key. Now, when you do get Vegeta out, Vegeta is slightly better. Um, he can go type effective at 24 key. He does have these really nice super attack effects. He recovers 50% health, so there's value there. But uh, there's th then there's this odd stuff where like he's, get he's getting minuscule percentages, and it's based off conditions which you may not get active all the time. So, again, this is, unit is very weird, very weirdly designed, and I think if they had to pick a summonable LR to get an easier for part 3. Uh, this is probably my pick if they are hell-bent on going for Saiyan Saga uh, for the part 2 theme. Um, so I think we can close this out now. I think that I've made my point. There was also this LR, uh, who is again a Saiyan Saga themed LR, but I don't think they're going to give I don't think they're going to give him an easy A. He just dropped recently on Global. Uh, came out on JP a few months ago at this point. 
I suppose never say never, right? Because these are the same people who drop a unit uh, and then give them easy A's on release, as we'll probably see with the free-to-play TURs as well as the free-to-play LR for this anniversary celebration. But I, I don't know, this just this does not feel like a unit who needs an easy A yet. Uh, I mean, let me know what you guys think. I, I've I don't really I've never actually tested him. I've seen the showcase. He's not anything special, but I don't think they built this guy with an easy A in mind because again, he's one of these prime battle LRs. So He'll, his easy will probably fall in line well after the Super Saiyan Vegeta's, um, the tech first form cell, and etc. And etc. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know guys think. Are you guys hyped for Goku and Vegeta? I personally am, number one, because uh, I saw actually a post on the Reddit the other day. Uh, in terms of Saiyan Saga Dokkan Fest, there are no Saiyan Saga Dokkan Fest at all. Uh, there is one OG Dragon Ball Dokkan Fest, which is Kid Goku, but since then, there has not been another Dokkan Fest. So I'm glad that, the, that these two characters are getting love. I'm glad that this portion of the series are getting love. And I'm also glad that DBS Broly is not going to be a yellow coin LR. I don't know why so many people wanted full power Broly to be a yellow coin LR. Like, do you not want to pull him? Like, I, I, I want, of course I want him as much as the next person, but him being released as a Do Confess LR makes a lot more sense just because if you don't pull him, you can always get him with red coins. And again, Do Confess LRs are the highest rarity in the game right now, not your yellow coin LRs with, with horrible uh, banners, right? I, I don't understand why people wanted him uh, as a yellow coin a lot. But that being said, thank you guys for watching. I think the final thing to talk about is that Dokkan on the... What day did they drop this tweet? They dropped this on the 10th. They did tease that there is going to be a live stream regarding part 2. This should be happening, I think... I think this is the 15th PST. I believe so. So I think for JP that would be like 4 or 5, a, 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning, the same as the uh, first live stream. Uh, they haven't actually uh, distributed the the YouTube URL link. I suppose I'll do that sometime today or tomorrow. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I presume this is where they'll give us the details about the Part 2 LRs, maybe potential easy A's, as well as all the other content which is supposed to drop in Part 2 and maybe even Part 3. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know guys think. Get hyped because the Saiyan Saga is something which the community has been requesting for a lot of time. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.